that uh, this Grey Stallion owned by the MDM Equestrian Group and Alibu Farm Incorporated of Illinois. And again, Taylor with less international experience, but placed in Spruce Meadows last year well. Comes up with a second ride a little later on. Taylor's brought along a lot of young horses, buys them uh, four, five, six year old horses. So it's maybe a little more rare that she's riding at this level. She has yeah. been for the last few years. Her niche has kind of been bringing along these young horses and developing them at a very young age. But nice to see her getting more and more international yeah. experience on these horses. And that, I mean, I, I expected, I mean, that line's, line's riding well. I expected more to be too tougher than it, that. It's riding better than I thought. It walked quite a short five. Yeah. Um, I think the wall underneath it is just holding the horses off of it just enough that they're, they're coming back and jumping it better. That vertical that she just rubbed, fence number 10, I thought would be a bigger issue. It's on a flat seven, but the horses are getting up there early. The Liverpool on the backside... And that's how to do it. Wow, great round, great ride there. 71-43, Taylor Flurry and Kalano said gives us the uh, second of the clears now. She joins the clear of Charlie Jane. So in terms of her run down the final line there, what did she do right that 